we welcome St. Joseph's Coach Martelli and student athletes to the dais. We remind you when you have a question, please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Please wait until the mic arrives before asking your question. And if you could direct your question to specific individuals, that's helpful. We'll go ahead and take an <coughs> opening statement from Coach before turning it over to questions to student athletes. Coach Martelli. Uh, on behalf of, of our program and our university, we were uh, proud to be in a game uh, like that. It wasn't a thing of beauty, uh, particularly in the first half. That's my fault. Uh, we just had combinations out there that we haven't really worked with uh, all year. So it's a lesson learned going forward. Um, but to have had the opportunity to be in that game against uh, a wonderful man and a great coach in Dana Altman, uh, great crowd, and, uh, you know, we just didn't make plays in the last minute and a half. On a technical point, the players will tell you, I told them, 10 turnovers and under, we win going away. We had 12, eight in the first half two in the last, you know, couple of possessions. So there's no finger pointing. They came into this building as champions. They're going to leave as champions. And I've been honored to, uh, to work with uh, each of them since August. And that doesn't change, a result tonight doesn't change that. We wish uh, Oregon well going forward and hope that, uh, you know, we'll be watching them advance to Houston. All right, questions for DeAndre Bembry and Lamar Kimball. DeAndre, can you tell me uh, what was it that clicked for you guys when you built the seven point lead? What, did you change things or did you just start finding a rhythm? Yeah, um, basically we start finding a rhythm. Um, more harder cuts. First half, we was a little bit stagnant. So um, we start swinging the ball around. Um, we got some some layups, um, some mid-range jump shots. And then we got a couple fast break layups as well. So it was just a couple of different things. But everybody just putting their all effort in. DeAndre, can you uh, put into words just how close you felt you were to pulling this off? Um, it, was, it was right there. Um, last turnover I had, you never know what could have could have happened. Isaiah could have hit a three. I uh, could have made a layup. So um, I blame this loss on me. Um, even though coach don't, don't want me to say that, but I can't turn the ball over at the end of the game like that. Especially being a leader of this team, um, I just feel sorry for the seniors that don't have a choice to come back. But um, as you can see, it was a battle throughout the whole game, and we, we was right there, possession away. This question's for Lamar. Obviously, DeAndre's taking this loss pretty hard. What would you tell him as far as it not being his fault? Oh, it's definitely not his fault. It's a, it's a team sport. We came in here as a team. We won as a team. We lose as a team. Um, you know, everybody made mistakes during the game, so that last one is not his fault. And, you know, we sticking together. What um, – that what did Oregon do that gave you guys the most? Was, was it their energy, their size, their speed? What was it? I would definitely start off with the zone. Um, they got a, a big, a big, a big, a big guards in the front that got their hands on a lot of loose balls, and that's what they do. Um, it was, it's really a good, a good, crazy matchup zone. You got to just find our smart, smart plays. And first half, that's why that's why we had eight turnovers. We didn't, we didn't uh, make smart plays. And then second half. Uh, Lamar, he, he got a couple layups for us to go in. Um, I got a couple layups going to the rim. But um, the matchup zone is, definitely is a problem. DeAndre, on that last possession, were you, were you trying to get a three for yourself or were you hoping to kind of drive and kick and find somebody? Well, the play was designed for me and Isaiah to just set a, a ball screen and me to go off for a layup or for Isaiah to pop out for the three. And I just lost the ball. More questions for student athletes? <coughs> uh, 
Lamar, what what was working for you and sort of part of the team concept when you came in off the bench and, and got got some plays going? Uh, just staying aggressive. That's all. Um, you know, my teammates put me in a position to you know create, and I, it happened to fall for me today. And and the. Uh, uh, 58-51 turnovers, it's just sort of the same thing where you just sort of lost the ball? You know uh, that yeah, that's, that was my fault there. I slipped and I lost it, and it was a big, uh, you know, possession of the game. And, um, you know, it didn't go our way that time. Uh, same question is for DeAndre. Can you try to put into words what it feels like to almost come back and pull that off? Yeah. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm oh. for, for, you answered it. I'm oh. sorry for Oh, uh, I mean, it felt good. We were there, you know, by the skin of our teeth. We almost was able to pull out a victory against a very good team. But, uh, you know, the chips didn't fall our way this time. And, you know, we still take it as a team. Lamar, um, you know, as a Philadelphia kid, what what is this run that you guys made this year kind of kind of mean um, for you and, and, and for the program? Uh, it's definitely unbelievable, uh, especially for me and uh, in the program. Definitely, you know, we had the whole you know St. Joe's Hawks community behind us. Everybody supported us, and uh, you know it was fun. It'd be one to remember, you know, for a long time. All right, we'll dismiss the student athletes, and when they've left the stage, we'll direct questions to coach. Questions for Coach Martelli. Yeah, Coach, given the level of the opponent and the fact that this kind of felt like a, a road game and how close you took Oregon to the wire, was this the best performance you've had this season? Uh, by far, no. Uh, certainly stage. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, I, I took some solace coming in knowing how well we have played on the road and uh, in neutral site uh, settings. And um, now it's a different game the other night, but I asked the assistants, what was the crowd like? And uh, uh, I, I give them a lot of credit because they, they rose to the occasion too. They made it uh, daunting. And when you have the year that Oregon has had and you're a number one seed, so be it, you know, like, I'm not stomping my foot. I'm not upset with the committee, minus the fact that St. Bonaventure belonged in the tournament. They disrespected St. Bonaventure and the Atlantic 10. Uh, this was the number that we drew, and we never talked about, you know, let's go battle and be on the road. It was we, – we look at road games the same way. We play for the silence, and the silence comes when you have that game wrapped up and you can see all their backs, and they're walking out. We didn't get there tonight. Phil, considering sort of the first half, the, the foul trouble, the sort of Jerry Rig lineup you had to go with, and, and sort of the performance of the first half, did, what was your mindset going in? Do you feel almost, lucky's the wrong word, going in down five, but what was the feeling? Well, you know, it's interesting, Mike, because I thought going down five, I thought everybody would be like, oh, it's, it's okay. But they had to know that that was not acceptable play in the first half. I mean, we were grabbing. We don't grab. We don't, we don't foul like that. But we were. And uh, I'm, I'm saying this out of, out of love and respect for my team. We had some little boys play in the first half. You know, we fell down. Uh, we banged into each other. So it got to them a little bit. It got to them a little bit. But saying that, it was, let's get a bucket, and I wanted to get the game tied to start to play with zone and, zone and man. Because playing them straight up, if we had played straight up for 40 minutes, it would have been a walk to the foul line because we just couldn't guard them one-on-one -on -one, uh, well enough. Phil, what did you guys do oh, over here? What did you guys do well during – I think it was a 23-6 run to, to get that seven-point lead. What – what started working, you thought, and then what happened those final, final five minutes and those few possessions where they got back uh, even with you? Uh, what we did well is we started to play with the ball in the middle of the floor instead of on the sidelines, and we were able to, to uh, make some cuts. And DeAndre 
was right. Like our cuts in the first half were like we were trying to sneak up on somebody. Well, in this game, there was no sneaking up. You, you had to cut w with a purpose. We cut with a purpose uh, during that stretch. Uh, we, 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 even though they scored against the zone, they, their rhythm was a little bit off. Um, and I'll have to go back and look at the running. One of them hit a big three that kind of took, I think, the edge off for them, seeing that the, the ball would go in the basket. And then, look, the last, the last couple of minutes, it was a little bit of a moment. It was just a little bit of a moment. I, I, I think 58-51, we only had four turnovers in the second half. One was the long pass, DeAndre trying to break their back with a long uh, lead pass, and then we had three in that stretch. Uh, you know, just a moment, but I, and not, there's no finger pointing. I mean, I'm not blaming anybody. There's one person that's responsible for this loss, and that's me. You mentioned a uh, difficult matchup with, with Oregon. Where was the difficulty? Was it the size, the quickness? What was it that caused you guys to DNA. Pause? The DNA. Like, whatever they got at birth, long, size, speed. It, they didn't get that when they got to Oregon. I'm not being disrespectful of anything at Oregon. They got that DNA. They got that at birth. That's what it was. More questions for Coach? Just right. so I, I, I just, uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for how they covered my team and the respect that you gave and the, and the moments and the memories that you gave these young guys. And the second thing is being proud of Philadelphia. Uh, we want to extend congratulations to Jay Wright and Villanova. And uh, um, hopefully we'll see Oregon and, uh, and, and Villanova in Houston. So we're, we're very, very proud to be a part of the Atlantic 10. We're proud to have come here to play basketball and to represent our school and, and our uh, wonderful, wonderful conference. Thank you very much. We welcome University of Oregon representatives to the dais. We'll remind you to raise your hand when you have a question, and please wait until the microphone arrives, and then direct your question to a specific person. We'll take a brief opening statement from Coach before questions for Jordan Bell and Tyler Dorsey. Coach? Very proud of uh, our team. Uh, didn't look good there with, with 5.30 to go and, and down 7. and. And we weren't playing well. We'd had a number of bad possessions offensively and defensively. And uh, very proud of the way the guys regrouped and uh, fought their way back. Uh, I thought the press helped us a little bit, changed the tempo and the rhythm of the game a little bit. Uh, our activity increased with the press. And then we just had some guys make some plays. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball very well. Uh, on a night that uh, we didn't shoot well. We did shoot free throws well down the stretch, and, and that really helped us. But uh, just a great effort the last five minutes to, to fight one out, and uh, really proud of our team. Questions for Oregon student athletes? Uh, Tyler, it seemed like you were really upset there after um, that DeAndre lost the ball in, in that dog pile. What, what happened there to, uh, to make you upset? Oh no, I just um, felt somebody collide on top of me very hard, so I didn't know who it was, but um, I was fine. My teammates calmed me down, and um, that's about it. The three that you hit that kind of 
got things opened up the floodgates a little bit for you there down the stretch. Uh, were you looking for that shot from the time that you brought the ball into the front court, or was it just there when you got the ball? Um, it was just there. Um, it was a great swing, and um, nobody was there. They didn't pick me up. They left me open, and um, I shot it. More questions? This question's for both of you. Um, Coach mentioned that, that point in the game at 5.30 left, and you guys were down seven. Uh, what did the coach tell you in the sidelines, uh, and uh, what did you guys talk amongst each other um, when you went back out on the floor? Tyler? Um, it, was, um, it was down seven, but we knew it was four minutes left. It was a lot of time left, and um, we just wanted to stay composed and um, get stops on the defensive end. And, um, that's what we did, and, um, and that led into t transition and um, getting to the offensive glass on the offensive end. And um, we just made simple plays at the at the offensive end, and um, and and that led into the momentum at the end of the game. Jordan. Um, yeah, coach uh, em emphasizes on um, he, we knew the ball wasn't falling tonight, so it's gonna come down on defensive end. We needed um, one, we needed stops and rebounds, limit them to one uh, shot, and then rebound the ball and let the offensive come. Jordan, uh, phys physicality of the game. Uh, at times, it seemed to be a little chippy, like the pile on on, doors, on Tyler and some of the other things. I mean, was it ever really kind of to the point where you thought it was starting to get out of control, or were you able to kind of keep your keep your focus and keep your mentality through there? Um, no, we knew it was going to be a tough game, a uh, dog fight. So they were playing uh, hard, super hard. It wasn't anything dirty like that. Um, we, we, everybody was just playing hard, and the refs kept it in uh, line. So. More questions for student athletes? I know you guys have, this is for both student athletes, I know you guys have you know, faced adversity in games this year and, and come back to win, but when it's a, an elimination setting like this and national television, everyone's watching, does the nerves at that moment with five minutes to go feel different than the nerves at other games in the season? Jordan? Um, no, um, it was the same. We obviously want to win every single game we play. Um, Coach, calmed us down, let us know that uh, we're going to win this game. It's going to come down on defensive end. And I think we did a great job of that. Tyler? Um, just um, staying composed and um, not letting the pressure or anything like that get to us. And there's no panic. Um, and we made great plays at the end. And um, that's what it came down to. And also getting, the, getting stops and getting the offensive rebound and defensive rebound. I know you guys have seen Dylan play pretty well a time, you know, a lot this season. What will you remember about the way he played tonight? Jordan? Um, he played with a lot of um, energy and emotion. Um, he let us know that um, he's not going to let us lose this game. Um, he made a big shot at the end, like he always does, to um, put us up. And that's just the kind of guy he is. He's always bringing a lot of emotion, a lot of energy trying to keep us positive, um, letting us know what to do, and let, letting us know that he has our back. All right, thank you guys. We'll dismiss the student athletes, and when they've left the stage, we'll direct questions to coach. Questions for Coach Altman. Coach, when we spoke earlier a couple of days ago, we talked about those games that you had trouble with, and you said rebounding was the key. I think they got you by two tonight. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, I, I thought, um, you know, in areas that we usually have to have to be successful, uh, points off turnovers, they got that switched on us in the second half. We had some really bad turnovers that led to easy baskets. Uh, second chance points, they beat us. So areas that, that are very important to us, uh, usually, you know, we were able to overcome tonight. And, uh, you know, part of it was the press. Again, I thought that helped us with tempo, uh, our ability to hit free throws um, down the stretch uh, when we really needed them was, was imperative for our comeback. So, um, yeah, I, uh, we, you know, we didn't play well. St. Joe's had a lot to do with that. That uh, was one of those games that, you know, you, you, we're going to look back on and say, you know, we just found a way to win it. But uh, we didn't shoot the ball well. Our ball movement was, was not good. 
Uh, we had bad turnovers the second half. Uh, our execution wasn't what we had hoped it would be. So uh, not very pleased uh, with the way we play, but, you know, we found a way to win, and that's always, you know, the, the bottom line this time of year. Uh, Coach, Casey Benson came in with about five minutes to play. Things were kind of frantic. Not a lot was going right for you guys, and I think he kind of slowed things down. What did he give you on, You know, in, in the final five minutes of, of a game? He wasn't uh, shooting the ball particularly well. Well, he, he made a couple big plays for us there, got a big rebound, uh, you know, hit some free throws, drove in there and, and hit two, and then hit one later on. So, you know, he, he did get us settled down. I think he was the one who got the quick swing to Tyler for his three. And, you know, he, he does give us something. You know, there's no doubt. On a night he didn't shoot it well. He had some good looks and, and just rushed him a little bit. Um, you know, he was able to settle down and, and come back four or five minutes there and really help us. What was the, how would you describe the mood of your team when they got up seven points and you had to call that timeout? And then what was the message to, to, to solve that? Well, th that we had a lot of time. You know, uh, we had some possessions there. You know, Dylan just drove it one time and threw one up, and, and we had two bad, two or three bad turnovers. And we, we, we did have three or four possessions there. We just panicked a little bit. And, fellas, we, you know, we got a lot of time, but we can't exchange baskets. You know, this, this is going to be one on the defensive end. We have got to get some stops. You know, we changed presses. We, we got a little more aggressive. Uh, but, you know, we're, we got to change this on the defensive end because we just cannot exchange baskets. We don't have enough time uh, to turn it around. And, you know, I, I can't remember exactly what the score was there, but, uh, you know, we, we did a pretty good job. I mean, it's, uh, we win by five and we were down seven, so we had a 12-point swing in the last 530. Talking with, excuse me, talking with Dwayne, he said that one of the sparks for this team was Casey just coming into the huddle and saying, this team wasn't going to lose. And this team said that, you know, kind of your motto of believe has been really big for them all season. Did you ever see it on their faces that, hey, maybe we could lose? Or did your team just say, hey, we are going to win this game, no doubt? Well, I, you know, there was a little doubt there. You know, I mean, we, <laughs> we, we, uh, we didn't have very good possessions. And, uh, you know, there was, there was a little doubt. But, uh, you know, fortunately, you know, we, we've got guys that, that kind of like each other, and, and even though some of them had made bad plays, there was no finger point or anything. We just, okay, we, we've got to finish this. You know, we got enough time, but we've got to have stops. And uh, once we got them calmed down and, and convinced them that was the key, then I think we had a chance, you know, and, and uh, you know, we really turned up the press, and, and Jordan was really active on the front of it. Uh, we got some big rebounds there and, uh, and got it headed back our direction. Dana, Dylan obviously carried you scoring-wise tonight. Is, is that what stood out to you most about his game, or was there something else that impressed you? Um, you know, he, he did play with tremendous energy. Um, you know, uh, he, you know, is a competitor, you know, I like his competitiveness. And uh, uh, he got beat uh, a couple times on dribble penetration and, you know, he was upset about that. Uh, he didn't rebound the ball as well as he's been rebounding and, you know, he talked about that. So, you know, he wants to be a complete player and, you know, tonight he, he made some big shots and hit a big three after Tyler had hit his three. You know, we had those back-to-back -back threes which, you know, gave us a lot of energy and, and really turned the game around. You know, we, we had a lot, uh, Tyler's was really open, but we had had a lot better opportunities from the three and we just, you know, rushed them and, and didn't shoot it very well. So hit them when we had to. Not to, not to play the cliche here, but having been down seven and finding a way to come back in a tough environment like this, do you think that, that can pay dividends in the next couple of rounds for you? Well, we've, uh, we've had our share of adversity here in the last couple of weeks, you know, the Arizona game. Uh, where we go six for 16 from the line and, and you know, get tied up and go into overtime and, and uh, almost give that game away. And, and we found a way to regroup and come back. And, uh, uh, and then we find a way to regroup and come back. So we don't have to do it that way, but uh, uh, it, it's nice to know that you guys are going to stay in the fight, you know, and, and uh, not going to give in to it. 
I don't think Jordan really scored much, Jordan Bell, all, all game. But what did you like about his defense to put him on Bembre? And then how do you feel like he did in impacting the game? Well, he, he had 10 rebounds. And, you know, his energy on the front of the press, I thought, was critical for our success. So even though he didn't score, uh, the 10 rebounds and the energy he got on the front of the press, he was really active. He trying to get hands on balls and, and coming from behind. Uh, I thought he really played hard. Coach, was a, a player like DeAndre Bembry just, just kind of giving the ball away? Was that a little bit of a surprising ending for you? You know, he's an outstanding player. And, and Phil, I've known for years, our teams played when, when I was back at Creighton. And he's, you know, he's, he's a veteran coach. He's a great coach. He gets his guys to play really hard. And, uh, you know, I think our zone bothered him a little bit, you know, because you get him one-on-one. -on -one. You know, he showed a couple times there when, when our zone didn't collapse on him, you know, just how explosive he was. So, um, you know, it was a game going back and forth. We only got him to turn it over 12 times. So, you know, it wasn't like our defense, defensive activity slowed him down that much. Getting to the Sweet 16 is always a big deal, but you're going to face Duke and what the history that they have. What's the significance of, of that game for, you, for your program? Oh, heck, um, you know, to, to be there with, uh, I believe, A&M won and, and Oklahoma and Duke, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, you know, I, I'm really excited, and I know the team will be. Uh, we got a quick turnaround. We play Thursday. We won't get home until really late tonight and try to regroup and then fly out Tuesday. So uh, it's going to be a very quick turnaround here for us. But... Uh, really excited about the opportunity. We're moving on. Uh, we go to an, a new four-team tournament. Uh, we know we're going to have to play better than we did tonight. Uh, but it's an opportunity. And, uh, you know, one that our guys are excited about, I'm excited about. Uh, so, you know, we'll just regroup and, and hopefully be ready Thursday. We have time for a couple more. We'll start right here. Both you and your players mentioned that this game was a fight. Did it kind of feel like those last five minute, minutes kind of felt like the last, uh, the tenth round of a boxing match almost. Well, we were a little fatigued, and and uh, you know our guys were able to to muster up some energy there. Um, but no, it was a physical game, and and uh, you know that loose ball there, you know there were bodies, you know, and they were hard hits there. So uh, no, it um, it was a clean game. It was just everybody was playing hard, you know, and uh, and it was physical at times, but. You know, you expect that in a game that uh, meant a lot to them and, and means a lot to us. So uh, both teams really, and we knew that, you know, uh, they won 28 games. They won the A-10 tournament title. They're coming in here. We knew we were going to have our hands full. I mean, uh, make no mistake. We didn't underestimate them, nothing like that. We, we knew how good they were. And our guys saw film on them the last two days. They knew how good and how competitive that team was. And uh, so we feel very fortunate to be moving on. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right.